Al, 6D diesels, fudgy, obviously. So today, we've got one of these. Mm, we've got we, all Americano. No, we've got all Americano. It's like an A-team van, but it's the wrong colour. It hasn't got a red stripe down it. It's too long, and it's got windows in the side. But it's yeah. as close as we're going to get. So this, apparently, is according to the thingy on the wing round here, a GMC Vandura 25. Mm -hmm. Whatever one of them is. Do we know where the bonnet pull is? Yeah, I think it's on the driver's side. You think it's on the driver's yeah. side? Yeah. Now, obviously, as we only ever acquire quality vehicles, it doesn't work. So, we found a bonnet pull. Oh, no, it's Americano. It'll be in the grill, won't it? They don't like putting bonnet releases under bonnets. Ah. It's here. Ah, it's for that GTA 5 experience yeah, where so you can just yeah, go yeah. and steal it. Okay, all right. Got the, there we yeah, go. Look at that. It has one of those Ooh. build sheet things. I've seen them on American bits and stuff on YouTube. Mm. So that tells you everything you need to know about this top quality vehicle. So it came with an AM FM radio, but the most important bits are is it's got a 5 litre V8 gas engine. So what you won't be able to see, but we can, is in there is a 5 litre V8 painted orange. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely automatic. Automatic gearbox. Automatic gearbox. It has some excitement. <laughs> some tubage. Some tubage that should be attached. Also down here, it has these bits that I'm assuming should be. That should be attached that in should there. should be a bit yeah, more otherwise, attached Otherwise, we're going like, to yep. lose oil and stuff. Duff, we? yeah. So we've got some floaty bits there. I think that's supposed to go possibly... No, that'll be under here when it seems to have to remove. Yeah, so that's your gearbox. So we've oil. got the blood stick bit over there. And then also we have some issues, because man would assume Ooh. That, that that is supposed to be bolted onto it. Yes. But that's the rest of it looks like it's sort of there. Yeah. It's relatively... It's got it's cylinder heads on it. it. So now, what the cunning plan for today is, cunning, mm -hmm. is to see if we can get this to start. So, we have one of them funny American batteries that came with it. So I've been boiling on that for about a week now, so there's a possibility that that may work. Mm. It's, um, we'll go and get it in a minute. I know exactly what it is, because um, we've seen them on Vice Grip Garage. It's one of them super starts with the go handle. <laughs> um, and, um, and then what the main problem that we seem to have, obviously apart from the fact that we haven't turned it over, we don't know if it's got any compression, it, God knows what's in the fuel tank, because mm -hmm. this came in from the Americas like this, as you will notice. She no British registered or anything like that. So this no. is fresh import, doesn't work. No, that's what we like, isn't that's it? That's what we, yeah, I mean, who'd want one that- Who wants one that's, that's running? Run no. Um, so it doesn't seem to have any exhaust manifolds fitted, which for starting and flame-based purposes. <laughs> I mean, we had a bit of a smoke out with the Bedford. We did nearly come with the Bedford. <laughs> we'll this, it, hopefully, in theory, this will not produce as much smoke. Hopefully not, but no, the flameage popping the up. The flameage is, yeah. Is so a bit eyebrows, more. eyebrows are missing. And I mean, there is a, there is a degree of similarity between this and a They are. CF. I mean, I would, I, I would class this as like the American CF. It's the American CF. Yeah. yeah we're gonna, probably going to upset loads of CF people now. Probably. Loads of American and a lot GMC, of Americans. Chevrolet. This is like Chevrolet, yes, Chev Motor, Chevy, Chevy yeah. so that's a five litre Chevy small block in it. That's, yes, I think, that, I think that's a 350 Chevy dump in there. Right, well I, I, I yeah, think. you think, well yeah. everyone will tell you you're an idiot. I'm probably, you're yeah, yeah I'm, I'm I am not, wrong. I am no expert, No. definitely not an expert, but I, I would uh, hazard so a guess. I think what we do for quality and, 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 and production purposes mm -hmm. is get all the treasure out the yeah. back of it we've got some silverage stuff going and we have on got some there. shiny chrome stuff which Bling we are bang. pretty assuming that most of it doesn't fit it's probably for something else but but we, might we can get, do a team styly and get a it team styly pile of treasure we know we've got a selection of exhaust manifolds and i reckon only one set of them is going to fit yeah which i mean someone's obviously tried we'll show you this in a minute uh, fitting a bigger exhaust manifold over there because they've cut the floor off. They, they have. It's got to be re So right by your in. leg, where you're driving with your doghouse. Yeah. We've now got no floor. Uh, so we may have to, we're going to have to, once we've done that, I think there was some of from the owner about fabricating a floor. 
Yeah. So we'll Because they the haven't cut it off that thing. side, so we'll just have to make that bit. Yeah, no, yeah. that's not a problem. And then we obviously, the gear linkage doesn't appear to be attached because it's touching the floor down there. Yeah. So one would assume that being column shift to the automatics, that does look fairly easily fixable because it's got that rod over there. Yeah. I think that gear lever might supposed to have been attached to that. Okay. But anyway. Yep. So we're going to go time lapsey, get all the treasure out. Get of all it, the treasure out. Come up with a cunning plan. I'll go and get the super starty battery with a go handle. Yep. And then, um, and then I suppose before we fit stuff, I mean we need to check it turns over, check it's got oils. Yep. I mean, Plum gonna, it up. well, we, I mean, and there is a degree of, do we see if it actually, if it'll bark first before? Well, yeah, we, yeah. I guess, I guess, yeah. See if see if it jumps into life. As soon as it jumps into life, life switch it off because it will it will heat up pretty darn quick. quick pretty and then quick. Yeah, and then we can work up. on the cooling system. Oh, unless it's a boat anchor, then if we fit the cooling system, we're going to have to take it back off again to take it out, aren't we? Yeah. Because we know nothing about this. And the man that bought it, he, no. he knows nothing about it either. No, so this is this is like a mystery it's kind mist of thing. Mi magical mystery van yeah. type of thing. But yeah. it's not a magical mystery van. No. no. Sure, that was a dodge, wasn't it? I think it was. Because the man owns this has got one of them dodges as well. That works. Ah. Uh, like, we'll we could get to that we anyway. Could, we let's could go get to that. Waffling. Waffling. We are. Treasure. Treasure. This is all the treasure that was in the boot of it. Yes. So we have a massive set of tubular headers that definitely not going to fit. They're no fit. I don't think they're going to fit. Those are not going to fit. That's going to put it right on top of a cross yes. member. Yeah. So I reckon we're back to, we're back <coughs> to the those. original cast ones. And then we've got two interesting looking sets of homemade. <laughs> yeah, they're like side populators, aren't they? They are. But I think we may need to, if, because they ain't going to touch any of that. They've touched those long tubes, I reckon, wouldn't they? Yeah. But I can't see those long tubes are going to go on that, are they? No. I mean, we've got an attack of the liquid sunshine again as well, just when you didn't want it. I know. So I have this horrible feeling we're going to have to push that three-ton object in here, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but on the upside, we do have a book made by Haynes, mm. uh, commonly known as Haynes Comics, yes. that says a Chevrolet and GMC full-size vans. So that may be useful. It may. Um, we also have Thermo Electron Engine Corporation. Well, oh, it's got 350 CDI V8. Mm. CID, sorry, CID. CID. I'm getting almost printer is CID, not CDI. That's because I'm dyspraxic. <laughs> um, and then we have a box. We've also got a useful repair manual for a pickup truck that we don't know. Wow. Well, but it might have it, the same engine. It, it'll, be the, it'll be the same engine. Right. So, useful things in the treasure are, mm. I reckon that's a set of exhaust manifold studs of some yep. description. Yeah. That's definitely some manifold mm, gaskets. Gasquitos. I don't know what else is in that box. Let's have a little look, shall we? All right, so we've got some flangito. Got a few flanges, Ooh. some more bolts. Bolts and some. Oh, uh, that's part of an exhaust kit, isn't it? Mm. With a load of. Well, that's some orange bit. That's, oh. that's a thermostat housing with a bolt stuck in it. And we've got some strimmer cable. Wow, you never know when you might need some strimmer. <laughs> one. It's not. They don't call them strimmers anyway. They call them weed whackers. Weed whacker. Weed whacker cables. I forgot. Yeah, we're all American. I have aren't found I? the alternator mounting bracket. Excellent. Excellent. What's in your your bag's just full of general tip and stuff. It's just like a Meccano y kind of. Well, I have found a genuine American. Oh no. It's an alley wheel <laughs> locking. I thought it was a genuine American snap on socket. Oh. So. Yeah. That, that treasure. Treasure. So I think for the moment, we're going to one have to go out there and. Pushy pushy. Pushy pushy, which probably is going to mean. Moving the 305, 305, since you see the 309, she's on the wheels. So that's a coming. Because um, I don't know about you, but I don't fancy getting wet. No. So No, I reckon, yeah, 30, 309 shift in, then we should be able to. It's quite brown, isn't it? 
It is brown. I mean, it's obviously Californian because it's. I think one it something on there. It says Californian, <laughs> and um, it's immensely rot-free. Yeah, no, it's not rusty. No, it is. A, it is a nice There's wagon. Some tire size issues going on. Yeah, they kind of. We seem to have the little wheels on the back and the big <laughs> the wheels big on, on the, the front. front. And I don't know much about this American sort of stancy type of stuff, but I think it's supposed to be like that rather than like yeah, that. Yeah, she's, she's sitting a bit she's low sitting, on the back. She's sitting a bit arse down. Yeah. Um, right. So we're going to find somewhere safe to put all this. We'll shift this And then to we're going to push side. that in here so we don't get wet. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Plan. So, as we'll all be able to see, down here... We've just used, we went to check the oil well we found a dipstick in the boot so we got to attend to that because i don't know where the hell that it must go out the front it? i'm pretty sure they it's got gotta the, be bent because unless it's a dipstick that goes down a hill yeah so that it'll lean forward yeah yeah but so i mean that's 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 that ain't leaning forwards well that's kind of unless you want to check the bonnet and check the oil from leaning underneath it anyway because that's it's one of them dipsticks that goes in sideways Mm. So, what we've got to do is we want to check on the oils. Now, obviously, here you can see... I'm going to have to cover these chairs over with something as well. Yeah, we don't want to... They're a bit... I know this one's we, covered in American cat fur. We, we don't want to ruin them. We really. don't, no, it's, it's actually quite nice nicks. So we're going to put some in on them because they're white, and white and mechanics don't mix. Yeah. So, we need to check. One, it turns over. Yep. You'll see that we have the exhaust manifold problems. So we're going to now spend a load of time faffing around. Once we've checked, it turns over. Find out how to refit the dipstick. Mm -hmm. Check the oil, which we're assuming it has. Yep. We don't know because we haven't got a dipstick. No. And, <laughs> and then, basically, we're going to... We need to get battery, fire test that. We have to work on exhaust manifolds, don't exhaust we? Exhaust manifolds fit those. So, so we've got any compression oils and figure out how the hell we check the oil. Yeah. Unless this is spare and we're just being idiots and we haven't found the dipstick yet. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see people, the, the um, nice big chunk of floor missing that we're going to have to remake because some numpty in America cut it off. Right, onward. 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 <laughs> So, we are making some progress. We have located the alternator mounting bracket in a bag of stuff over there in the bolts. And we have refitted the alternator with its bolts. We found where the dipstick goes. It's currently fully floating. We've bolted the gearbox stick thingy back on. And we have, as you will be able to see, look at that. That's nice, clean, automatic transmission fluid. Fudgy, we'll come around here in a minute and show you has managed to fit one exhaust manifold that we found in the boot and we've sort of think we've sussed out that is really fully floating that isn't it yeah, I should yeah that, that'll, that would, that'll be all right there so and we've got to find some description of mount for the dipstick because at current it touches the fan <laughs> and we need to try and turn the thing over in a minute don't we yeah so Oh, I've mounted the dipstick by bending it. It fits much better if you bend it. It sits on top of the floor, or on top of the fan cowling rather than in it. So we now got to try and get the other exhaust manifold to fit. I think what I really need. Why are you? Oh, you're not doing the the I'm fanny do, mat bolts up. I'm are doing you? the fanny mold bolts that's up. A, that's a bit OTT. It doesn't well, they they, they were a bit loose, and I'm like, well, you'll be getting all excited and trying to put a gasket in here in a minute. Ah. Well, I think what I'm going to do before attempting to put the coolant hoses on, because I've got the heaters plumbed up by the look of things. Oh, so I've got bottom radiator hose, one of them multi fit wobbly ones. It would appear that there's a coolant housing. We don't have one of those um, thermostats. They've deleted on that. Um, but that probably won't hurt for the minute. It will need one, won't it? Because yeah. they were put in for a reason. Yeah. And we have seen to have, we're a bit worried on the wiring side of things because that's not terribly good. But it does look like we've got wiring to the distributor, the HEI, whatever it is, bit of it, haven't we? Yeah. And then 
in theory, if we can get the other manifold on, I'm going to go down here and twist on a crank bolt to see if we actually turn over and we've got any of the compressionals. And the blinking torch has gone flat again. <laughs> Stupid thing, you're not flat. You know you're not flat. Stop telling me you're flat when you've got three bars. Right. What have you got the power? I suppose I ought could get posh and check there's power steering fluid in it, isn't it? There is power steering fluid in it. Ooh. That's good, because it's near on impossible to steer without it. <laughs> it does look like you may possibly be missing one of the water pump bolts. Oh, no, no, that's a mounting bracket bolt we're missing. So as you can see down there, look, Fudge has managed to bolt one of the steel cast manifolds on with some bolts we found in a bag and a gasket because we're being all posh, aren't we, Fudge? We are. We and are. we reckon that when it fires, it's going in the right type of angle not to set fire to anything underneath the vehicle. So what we now need to attend to is getting in the down here to attempt to fit the other one. Now, obviously, you can go in through the side of the vehicle over there where Fudge is. Um, so he'll come over this side, and then I'm going to go down there and attempt to turn the engine over. Off the engine turning, and to see if we have any description of compression. It's ridiculous, right? So it's a 5-litre V8. It's got the world's tiniest crank nut. Oh, my Lord. It is diddly. Right, Fudger. Oh, fingers oh, crossed. she turns. Oh, nice. Blimey. me. Oh, it definitely does turn. It's got compression. At a point I can hardly turn it. I'm just going to get bigger spanner in a minute. Right. Nice. Yeah. Definitely. Excellent. Complete revolution. Everything's oh going roundy round. And I found the fuel pump thingy. That looks like a. F <coughs> is that a pump? Which yeah, side are you on? Flowing a return here. On the passenger side, right? Yeah, bottom, the fuel pump's down that's, here on the front. Right. We that's sort right. of knew that. You can just about see it from the top, can you? Yeah. So in theory, we could... We don't know what the condition of the fuel tank is like, do we? Might just be worth churning on it a bit to see if anything comes leaping out of it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. That's a full revolution. So in theory, I might get all excited now. Find some Jubilee clips. Fit this here top quality that was free floating radios. It's um, American Superstart Extreme with the go handle and the thing is because obviously. This vehicle at current is side post um, that was left in the boot. So we have attempted charging on it. And the other day it was saying it was good. But that doesn't mean it is any good. So that, we need to throw this ooh, in here somehow. Oh, I found the radiator hose crew jubilee clip I couldn't find earlier on. It's um, wedged in behind the uh, master cylinder. and see if we get any battery life. Otherwise, we're going to have to do some battery conversions, Fudgy. Oh. Um. <coughs> well, it can only go the one way, can it? Yes. Yeah. It's got to go like that. Uh, 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 uh. Right. Oh, sort of fits. So, if I screw that in there, what do you reckon that is? Tommy. Mm. Mm. Let's grab some iron keys. Right, you want to see if the, the ignition's on, isn't it? Uh. Shall we just attempt a bit of fire testing? Let's do a bit of testing. I don't know whether this battery's any good at all. Right, do you want the ignition on? Yeah, go on in. Got oh! Any, did we have lights then for a I second? Had a, I had a fast seat belt, fast and seat belt. Oh, <laughs> oh, so we might have some life in this here battery. Oh, and the gauges are moving. Hang on, I shall just bolt oh, this on. Something's making a weird noise. 
No fire yet, though. No fire. That's good. So we don't... Solenoid was clicking into life then. Oh, that doesn't feel quite right, right. Well, I haven't got any fire up here. Do you want to att attempt twiddling on the key? Right. See if anything happens. I've got to put it in. It's, it's in neutral already, isn't it? So it should. Uh, yeah, we're assuming that the gearbox thingy is. I mean, if it starts straight to life and runs me over, it'll be good quality <laughs> comedy. <laughs> yeah, no, the key, the key's not. The key's not functional. No. Doesn't turn. Doesn't turn. I don't want to. I don't want to force. No, the that's issue. fine. We'll pour some. Um, we'll pour some graphite in graphite stuff in there and see if we can make that work. But we have got ignition lights. We did. We got gauge. The gauges. The battery gauge is moving up and down when I switch the ignition on and off. But I mean, it's possible. Got no fasten seatbelt thing happening anymore. Right. So probably that. No horn. Rubbish then. No lights. Oh, oh I've got headlights. Oh. Flashing. Right. So after a load of faffing around with the key, which involved quite a lot of squirting oil because it didn't want to move, we have got it to the point where we have some lights. And then we have now found out if you hold it in park, you can get the key out, which was handy, even though this doesn't actually currently do anything. So what we are now going to test we get any description of turning over. Now, we know it's not going to miraculously burst into life, hopefully. Hopefully not. Do you, before we decide to do this stupid thing, like do you want to try and work out, because Park appears to be... If I shine a torch, you stick your head underneath, because you right. can see the linkage dangling off of the gearbox down there, look. Right, let me cl climb under a sec. Yeah. That we might possibly have the thing in Park, because it isn't in Park Ooh. at the moment, because we pushed it in here. So that park, right? That right. bar should connect to this doodah here. Yeah, right. I think. Do, would you oh, like I just, to I just put it in? A, right, I'm going to push it in. Right. So at the moment, that would suggest it's in. So back last first. Yep. Second. Yep. Drive. Yep. Neutral. Yep. Reverse. Uh huh. And then that. Is part. Would you like some zip ties yes, to make please. it fit properly? If I shall I pass you some of these? Thank you very much. We use zip tie attachment for the minute. Yeah. You're gonna do it one or do we? If need I could have a uh, dua. Do you want du? Du. Du. Two zip ties. Two zip ties. The expense. I know, but right. it's, it is worth it. So we've got manifolds both sides. We in theory have it in park. Right, so and we have that one in there. even the steering wheels fully. I wonder if the horn works. I did, <laughs> I did press against it when you were putting the battery on, but it didn't do anything. No. Rubbish. Have we got any other description of services? Have we got any winkerage? Oh, we got indicators, Mush. Ooh. One side and the other. Yeah, definitely got indicators. What about. No, I think we was hoping a bit for windscreen squirties, weren't we? Right, that's temporarily... Right, so in theory, oh, if yeah. I do this, yeah, yeah, that is park. Okay. Right, so if you want to op your head out from underneath... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump out just in case. Yeah, I'm going to twist on this ignition key here. Oh, he's got gas struts on this. Oh, what, the air blowy up Gas one. rider, LT. Very posh. Right, Very head posh. out from underneath it, yeah, so I'm I can out. attempt I'm out. I'm seeing what happens if I twist the key that now oh, moves. Oh. Okay. Because the gauge on the dash says oh, I've got nearly 12 volts and we boiled a live super start. And in theory. Yeah. Ah. Ah, turning. Okay, well, turning. There's a little bit of a gallop there, isn't there? Mm. I think we might have uh, some sort of lifters sticky. Right, what we need to do now, Fudgy, is find a, one of those flash cap devices and see. God, have you bought a posh new socket rail? I, I did it today, yes. Bloody. Well, he, he came round <coughs> and I was like, you know I've got money, you know I'm going to spend it. Dear. Yeah. You get, you get robbed uh, by the tall man again. Yeah. Who are. 
thank you. I've That's got them dirty as well. <laughs> oh dear. I'm assuming that is yours. That's mine did, as well. Did you buy two socket rails? I bought a socket rail last time you came round. Blimey. And then I was like, oh, well, I might as well have the deep reach sockets while well, we're at it. That's mine. Oh dear. Yeah. So basically you have wasted all your money on tools. Yeah. 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 Right, let's go and see if we've got any description of Spark. Okay. Ooh. Right. <laughs> so we have connected <clears throat> a flash cap down here. Um, I might as well turn the torch off. Do you want to get charring on that ignition switch? It's quite difficult. You just have to sort of turn it with force. See if we got any description oh. of fast. Sp sp fast? Spark. Spark. It's definitely not going to snap, is it? No. It didn't snap on there. Eh? Oh, 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 oh. She is flashing. Brilliant. Right. That's scary turning that key because I think it's going to snap off. Yeah, one of the snaps off. We'll just screwdriver. Get, screwdriver. Yeah. Get off of one, right. Yeah. I think what we need to do now is do something really sensible, like tip some petrol down its neck. Because I think it might, as a possibility, it might... Bark. Well, either bark or burst into flames. <laughs> it's sort of got two choices, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Right. That's, that's a ridiculously large carburetor, so... so oh, oh, yeah, I mean, that is, that is tiny, that is, that's yeah. lawnmower style that is, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> and we're not used to things it's that a, little. Like a ride-on lawnmower. So, I'm, in theory, if we chuck some fuel down its yab, you've had a sniff in the fuel tank. I've had a sniff in the fuel tank. It smells fuel-y, a little bit stale, but not overly. So we've got a couple of gallons, which will run this for about 15 seconds. Yeah. So, I think we tip some fuel down its yab, mm -hmm. see if it busts off, and if it busts off, then we can attend... Coolant. To cool... Well, we're plumbed up for coolant. We just haven't got any. Okay. But we might as well see if it fires first, and if it's complete junk before we put any antifreeze in it. Yeah. Right, let's get the gasket. I'm going to keep the door open, because there's no handle to get out. Oh, no. So I have to... Yeah, right. That's good, that's good. <laughs> so, I've got this. a fire extinguisher just in front of it. So... Because if this fires, this is going to be deafening, isn't it? It is. It so is. in theory, that's the fuel bowl overflows there, isn't it? That uh, one. I think so. And that one, right? Yeah. So I'm, I've invented now. this fuel injection system. It's good. Ooh. It's called. It's called uh, we haven't got a wash. We haven't got any washing up liquid left <laughs> in the bottle. <laughs> so we <laughs> use, in a cup. Use, use petrol to clean the, the cups. Uh, yeah, so use petrol to clean the cups. So let's put some petroleum in there. I mean, luckily enough, I'm not sloshing this all over an engine or anything. Nope. That's precision. I'll give it a bit of... Gluckety, gluckety. I mean, we've got petrol everywhere. We have. What could possibly go what wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Okay. Right. <laughs> Hit it. All right, here we go. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Flamage. That was, that was quite a lot. That, 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 that was quite a big <laughs> amount of flames. <laughs> Take the hair do, off do, do we reckon there's a possibility? <laughs> Try it again. Whoa. Hang on. Oh, I'm going to go and get the fire extinguisher. Yeah. Just, just, just in, in case. case. <laughs> so you're going to sit in the back? <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, actually, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, you can sit there and twist on the key. Now, I am primed with me fire extinguisher. Okay. Don't you worry. Right. right I'm going to go back in me front seat spot. I'm going to move this kind of tin of penetrating oil because we don't want that to go up. That's expensive. No, I mean, I'm holding on to a fairy bottle full of petrol. This is going to work brilliantly, isn't it? Right. I mean, Toch is doing his flashy thing again. Right. Okay. Hit it. Oh, Jesus. Right, hang on. Go on. Okay, ready? Yep. I reckon, hang on, I'll just do this again. I reckon the firing order is out, don't you? I've added some more petroleum. <laughs> Hang on, let me change torches because this one's going. This one's going flat. Right, hit it because I think the firing order's out. Perhaps the firing that, order isn't that's out. That's the firing order is is is, in is, is not out. No. Right. Shall I get my foot on the throttle and well, give it a little I give bit it of some more petroleum? Like half a ton of it. Oh, that's a lot of petroleum. Yeah. Because if you've got fuel bowls front and rear on one of these I don't know I know nothing about American stuff it's loud and angry well it's going to be loud and angry and flamey isn't it <laughs> right 
Right, go on then. <laughs> I've got <laughs> fire extinguisher ready. I'm ready to bail out the side Dad, be fine, be fine. Oh, she was close. Ooh. Go on, get another one. Ooh. There was no flames. No, oh, there was a little flame. <laughs> fine. <laughs> go on, go on. It's smoky. Hit it. Hang on. Shall we pour a load of petrol down the secondary? Yeah. That, that'll help, won't it? Yeah. That's that one, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Try that. Okay. Come on, darling. Let's go. Oh, I don't think she's got enough fuel yet. Oh, that might be our trouble. Try that again. Okay. <laughs> right. Oh, I think where we were going wrong there was... We were pouring fuel in the wrong bit. No, no, we were pouring enough fuel in it. <laughs> right, so when we pour lots of fuel in it, and just try and keep it running... Okay. I'm going to give it the old throttle just now. Go on. I'm assuming it's getting no fuel from the tank. Try it again. Okay. Mm, hang on. Let's just go for a bit more fuel in here. Right. Okay. Ooh, big flame. It's just <laughs> yeah, be fine. We're fine. We're on it. It's Don't you right. want... It's fine. Ooh. Go on. I think she's, I think she's timed up right-ish. Yeah, no, she sounds... Once you, once once you, you clear it up early, yeah, go on. Blah, 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 blah. Try choke, closing the choke. Okay. Yep. Oh, let's try not closing the choke. Oh, that was some heat coming from there. Oh, that's definitely heat coming. Ooh, that's, well, there was, I thought the that's, seat that's, cover was going to be ablaze. That's fine. That's <laughs> coming out of it, isn't it? All right. <laughs> Got to be a fuel bowl there, isn't it? Yeah. That's a lot of fuel. I'm running that petrol now. Oh, oh gurgle, gurgle. We might have. That was filling the bowl up. Right, so mm. let's try doshing the last, the, last, the last of that in there. Hit it again. All right. Right, I don't reckon we've got any fuel coming through. Well, we've just tipped all the fuel in the tank. That's tree. fine, because I've bought some of them little rattler pumps. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I think what we need to do is, as it is like five o'clock on a Friday night now, is tomorrow I will get some petroleum on the way in. Yep. And then if we work a Ratley pump, in I think through. into that, I think... She'd be a goer. She'd be a runner. Mm. Yes. Best turn the ignition off and we best take the... Um, Key out. Well, yeah, no one's going to steal it. <laughs> we, um, we best take the, um, the battery terminal off just for fire purposes, isn't we? Yeah. But yeah. we can consider that success. A, like, yeah, I think that was six cylinders. I don't think that's quite. No, I reckon that's eight. I reckon that because they they do sound a bit. Without the exhaust system on. But you have to feed it some fuel. Yeah. Right. Battery. Battery. Okay. So Saturday morning, we are um, back on large American fire breathing buses. So fudgy before I got here. We have added the antifreeze and the coolants. 
Which it does appear to, apart from a minor radiator drip down the bottom down there. That was, I think that no, was No, no, actually... no, I've just, I was lying underneath it. I think the bottom radiator clamp is leaking. Oh. But that will worry about that later. Yeah, that will. So, what we need, we have got more <coughs> petrol. I mean, that'll run it for about eight minutes, won't it? Yeah. yeah. That's only 40 yeah. quid's worth in that can. <laughs> um, we need to see if the fuel pump is a pumping. So I think what we do is we take this five eighths of inch of an or five eighths of an inch American spec spanner, mm -hmm. and I go and lie under there, yep. one out my cigarette, yeah, yeah, and then you can twist on the ignition stick thingy, yep, and then if it pumps us the fuel, and we're or it does anything down there, then we can go and see if the, it's getting fuel to a carburetor, okay, because it appears to have a line from the tank to the pump little mechanical pump on the side of the engine mm -hmm. it's got a return going back from that yep. and then a, obviously a steel line up to the carb so one assumes that it must circulate fuel continuously when running it shoves the over back to the back to the tank, tank. so in theory if we undo the main line You've you crank on it and petrol dribbles out of it yeah that mean it was working ish yeah. it should, should like shoot out like a it won't shoot it'll, it'll it'll dribble won't it okay and the super starter seems to be hanging in there. I'm really surprised at that, mm. actually, because mm. I was not expecting that to last any more than five seconds. No, no, no. I think for a battery that's been boiled alive, it's actually quite impressive because it's a super start extreme. Oh, it's extreme. And it is doing some extremely good starting. It is, because that is a fat old well, that's five litre V8 with a lot of compressions. Of yeah, definitely. Well, it's five of the American litres, isn't it? Which is yeah. like about ten of ours, seven of ours. Isn't seven, it? seven of ours, yeah. So it's probably like 7.3 British litres, isn't it? Because I remember having a Jeep Cherokee Poncho pickup truck thing, and that had a 5.7 Chrysler big block thing. Mm. That was a way of using, well, not being Chrysler, it probably was Chrysler because it's Jeep, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Used to get six to the gallon on a good day. Ooh. Didn't drive it much. <laughs> no. And if you used the, the loud pedal, oh, oh. <laughs> that was back when fuel was like 85 pence a litre. That's oh. when we could afford the fuel. Well, we just about. We thought it was expensive back then. We, anyway, yeah. we are procrastinating and talking stuff. We are. I'm going to go and loosen this thing. You go and sit in the fire cabinet. Yep. And um, I'll twist on this and shout at you when I want you to twist on that. Okie dokie. Right. Right. I'm oh resuming God. position. This is a long way down here. Well, let's get this seat cover back on. There we go. That's pretty. <laughs> Yeah, don't you go making the nice white seats, Mucky. No, I've just put the... the put the seat cover on. The seat cover back on. Right, do some churnage. Okay, all right, I've got some wireage here. I'm just moving out of the way. Cause it's gonna get Make sure it's in park, because I don't want to die underneath this. Okay, we're in park. I'm Definitely good one on gear. In case. Here we go. We are... Yep, 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 yep. Yeah? We are pumping fuel. Beautiful. Doesn't smell very nice, <laughs> but it's <laughs> probably flammable. <laughs> Right, so that means that's the main line of the carburetor. So in theory, <coughs> see if we've got anything going on inside here. Well, there is a lot of main line going into a carburetor up here somewhere that's bolted in, isn't there? I can't. It's there. Ah, so kitty. Do we want to just undo that, and then we can churn on it some more? And what we can do then is pour petrol in the valley. Yeah. Just to jolly things up and make it that bit more exciting. Yes. Yes, I think that's a brilliant idea. Go on, right, turn it over and see if stuff spews out of there. Oh. There's not a lot of petrol coming out of there. Well, actually, put it the other, the other better way. There's no petrol coming out of there. Oh. So, we are assuming that there is obviously either it's not good enough to lift it up here anymore yeah. do you want i don't know why i Should would do, I do that so, why do I'm, you do that seeing as you can sit right instead of me I leaning see you into struggling there. there it's like well if i just grab that spanner a minute i mean i'm assuming that is the only fuel feed isn't it i think so, yeah yeah it looks like yeah that's it it's coming up from the front isn't it so i reckon if i stick 250 psi down this hose and something goes patunk down the bottom yeah, that might cure the fuel blockage. 
because it's definitely lifting fuel up here, uh, up from that pump and you would have thought it was good enough to lift it up here yeah I know definitely no fuel blockage there <coughs> ah. shall I reconnect it in me puddle of petrol down the bottom there <laughs> perhaps it isn't just man enough to lift it up the top but it's fairish pumping down here yeah Or just we were just being impatient. I suppose we could give it assistance by pressurising the tank with 250 psi. Let's just leave that idea for a minute. <laughs> and um, it should. I mean, it was hooking it out underneath. Mm. Right, give it some top quality charring on because I reckon it will come up now. Okay. It'll take a little while. No. Right, the other choice is that it's returning it back to the tank instead of pumping it to the top. Ah, yeah. And what we could do is we could cure that by clamping. Clamping the pipage. If we clamp the return off back to the tank. Yeah. That might force it to lift petrol up the top, wouldn't it? Yeah. Possibly. Ooh. So I would assume the smaller of the two fuel lines is the one going back, wouldn't you? I would have, yeah, I would have, I would have I'd thought assume so. so. Right, try that. Okay, here we go. No. Nothing. Nothing. Right. I think the other choice is to put a click clack in line, isn't it? Yeah. That's weird. It's definitely I mean it's pumping fuel at hell of a rate down here. Perhaps it's just not got any pressure. Um I suppose what we could do is we could try some rejuvenation on it first. Yeah. Before I get the rejuvenation tool. There's one on the floor down and there. That, yeah, yeah. Now, this is the uh, slightly smaller fuel pump rejuvenation tool, isn't it? Yes. Right. Right. Rejuvenating. Turn it over. Okay. Right. Nursing. That's weird. Let's just take this pipe off down here again and get a load of petrol down my arm. Must have absolutely no pressure. <laughs> right, just crank it over, would you? Okay. Yeah, we may run out of fuel. That's a possibility, because there's nothing coming out of this pump now, and there was a minute ago. Is the other one still clamped up? No. I reckon we run out of petrol. Oh. Tip half of this can in the tank. I'll blow back to the tank in a minute as well. That's a possibility that we're gunged up, in it? Yeah. Take the fuel line off. Take the fuel line off, fuel cap off. Yep. And then... Um, I'll stick 300 PSI up its arse and see if it bubbles. That'll make sense. Yes. Yes. Where is it? It's that one. Don't tip all of it in there, obviously. No, I'm not, I'm not tipping anything in there at the Wait second. For a minute. Okay. It's out my way. Rubbish. Oh, that hasn't been off there for a while. Ooh, Ooh. Right, good. 
gurgly noises coming your way. Okay. Definitely sounds like it's fuel in there, doesn't it? No, that's not, that sounds empty. Does it? Yeah. Tip some fuel in it then. All oh, right. Right. Come on, hand. Uh, yeah, I'm going to grab the funnel here a minute. Unless that's the return, but you would have thought the larger line was the... Ooh! Right. Do you want to do the porridge while I hold yeah, it? Yeah, I don't want you, little, little squirrel that you are, to have to pick up that heavy fuel can, you know? Squirrel. Squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my lord, I think my back wants to pick that up, that heavy fuel can, aren't they? Right. <clears throat> That's, that's at least 10 litres of jungle juice. Got a bit more gurgling now, so we just test it again. Okay. That's not really gurgling. No. Right. So we have a go at... Um, Channing it over again then. Yeah. I'll put this top collar, it's like the worn out fuel line who's back on now. Right, cap is back on. Okay. We all clear? Yeah, got my fingers out of the way. Okay. And Nothing as of yet. Hmm. And again? Yeah. No. Right, hang on. Let me just see if we got any vacuum on the I take the hose off. Go on. Nah. Hang on, hang on. I don't think that's doing any sucking. That might have died. That's popped itself. No. That's alright. We have the ability to connect it straight to a um, pumpable fuel source. Drill battery, dugger dugger dugger. We'll see if it dugger duggers from the tank. Yep. And then um, and we'll have a go. Right, uh, cunning plan. Fire, sparks, <laughs> death. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, that'll be fine. I'll insert this dugger dugger pump in here. Mm-hmm. I'm climbing the board here again. <coughs> Covered in filth bike. Right, that's fuel out the dugger dugger pump. Ooh. Just keep an eye on your yep. pipe at the top there, yep. alright? Okay. Nothing? Nothing yet. Yep, whoa, 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 whoa. Right, right. Yes, she's right. flowing like a fuel. Luckily, it hasn't covered the engine in fuel. No, no, that's good. <laughs> we haven't covered the large petrol. Do you want to put this back on? <laughs> right past you this yep. banner. Thank you very much. Right. Right, let's put that on. Right, Fudge is going to refit the fuel line. We'll put you in there in the flame cabin with Fudge, and we might even put another camera out here to catch the action as it cracks off and runs like a champ. <laughs> or bursts into flames and burns the workshop down. One or the other, isn't it? Yes. Right, so we have affected a working fuel supply. Uh, we're just going to rejuvenate on the, uh, on the float chamber of this carburetor using this carburetor rejuvenation tool. Yeah. And then, all right, Fudge. If we, uh, we crack the fuel pump off and turn her over, yeah. get, I'll get the um, fire extinguisher. Right. We have installed an electric fuel supply down there. If I go and turn the electric fuel supply off, Roger. Yeah. Because there's quite a lot of the petrol, the petrol has evaporated down here, so it feels a bit safer now. <laughs> so that's ticker pump. Yeah. Ticking. Do you want to um, give her a few pumps on throttle? 
and then char on it and see what happens and make sure if it all goes wrong, the fire extinguisher is just beside you. Alright? Go, go, go. So with the distributor being, say, there, that yeah. should be number one. Which it is, well, if that's one on the front this side. Yep. Yeah. One at the front, should be one at the front on this that's side. On. Yeah. So what we've got, that one there. We're running 180 out then. That one, ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, but it's got a ring on. So that should be All around. Right. So that's number one. Yeah. That's oh, got it written on the disc, and that's number two. Hang on. Chicka chicka chicka. That one there. So the foreign order should be one eight four three six five seven two. So which cylinder is number one? That one or this one? That's number one. One at the front, that's one at the front. So we know where which lead number one is then. So that's so that's like that's number one at current. So one eight, which we've got, that's one eight, yeah. Four. So four is the front cylinder this side. Uh basically runs one, two, three, four, yeah. So, so second four, one in. Second one in, which is right, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Then we have three. Which is the second one in your side, which is yep. that one, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Uh, six. Yeah, uh, which is the third one in my side. Yep. Uh, yep. No, yeah, no. Yeah. Six. Oh, right, sorry, yeah, so I can't third see. One six. In six. Yeah. That one should be. That one should be five. Which would be third one down your side. Yep. Right. And then the last seven then two. So seven. Well seven's got to be your side, isn't it? Seven's the back one on my and side. And that's going to the back one yep. on your side. Yeah. And then this is going to number two, which is the first cylinder on my side. Yeah. Well so the firing order is right. Okay. It just might be 180 degrees out. Are there any alternative firing orders? Uh, only for the V6. Right, so we can't go back and be wrong. Some. So basically it's got to be done. So basically, if, what about if we find the timing mark, set it up on TDC on number one. Yeah. Which it should be top dead centre number one, and then make sure that the lead is in the right place. Is in the right spot. So the timing marks. <laughs> So if you set them to zero, set, set to zero. Yeah, set them to zero. I need two of them to set to zero. I just can't see it. If I get a socket in the spanner, yep. socket in the ratchet. Yep, and I'll uh, let you know when you're there. Yep. Wing on this, and then you tell me when you can actually see the alarm. Straightforward. Straightforward. This cap doesn't fit terribly well, does it? Right. So where's number one? That number one? No, that's not number one. It's first uh, and this first. one. This one here is number one. So that needs to be round. A chunk. Right, let's have a look. Somewhere about there. Obviously, he's there, isn't he? <laughs> so he's well off, mate. This is. Yeah, it needs to be around here somewhere. Yeah, that's from 
machine. That's it. So which one's number one? That one's number That's one. That's number one, yeah. There is a locating lump just here. I do wonder whether the locating There's lump... There's the locator. You know, I reckon this cap's on backwards. See that there? That should be lugged into there. there, instead yeah. of around the front. Oh! So I think if we pop the leads off, I'll clean on the cap a minute. Yeah. We know where we've got to run from. Yeah, we know We know the firing order anyway we now, so don't matter if we pop them all off. Because I think... The, cap, the cap's on backwards. Yeah, it's, it's not, which is, it's which not is, making contact. Which is right not up. really helping terribly much, no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, That's it, because it's got no clean, it is electronic, no cleanable points, isn't it? Yeah. You get all excited and clean on it a bit. And it obviously functions. Yes, it's been fitted by an idiot. <laughs> That's right. quite a size distributor, really, isn't it? Well, um, it's an American engine, isn't it? it? Means it's about 30 litres and produces 200 horsepower. Yeah. To be honest, we can get 400 horsepower out of a 2 litre TSFI reliably. Yeah. But, admittedly, the fuely stuff's a bit more expensive here, so we have to be a bit more. We've got to be careful. We've got to be a bit more sensible. Yeah. This cap is pretty ganky. Right. So we put that cap so it's actually... Will the wiring actually reach? Yes. <laughs> ah, uh, because that also comes off and spins around the other way, doesn't it? Well, we can always do that. So we located the cap sensibly so it was actually located. Like that. Into which means, its locator. Which means it fits. So, right, we screw in down. So... We make it so that this piece here will probably go around there, I reckon. Here we are. Mm -hmm. I think we might turn the plug around the wrong way. Will that plug in there? Oh, that might plug in. I just unplugged it from there. Right, it does get that plug on. Don't want to go in there. I'm trying to torch at it. Like that. It's much more helpful. Right. I thought we were shining it in your eyes. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, shine it in the seat. That will always help. <laughs> just, just chuck the torch in the bag. Yeah, throw it in the boot. Right. So that, in theory, that's located. That's located. We've got number the one room. pointing. Right. I've got my finger located to where it should be. Yeah. I think. We're, so we're going to need to come sort of here-ish way somewhere on, which it. is about where we were. And that'll be number one right there. Right, so plug number one lead in there. I'm going to winky up on this distributor right. a bit. Can I steal the you torch? You can steal the torch. Save you waving it at the stars again. Yeah! So that's the main distributor power there. That one is number one. Right, do you want to plug that in over there? Yep. Right. I shine the torch. You shine the torch in yeah, yeah, your, your face. That's don't I? Yeah, really yeah, yeah, helpful. helpful. Yeah, thank there you. we I go. Know. Right, so this is our direction of rotation, right? Yeah. So what lead what do one? I need next? It is the one, isn't it? Yes. That's the screwdriver of screwdrivers. Right, down, down, down. That's better because those hooky things fit in now. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Need to bring the rhino on it. Oh, it's got to go the other way. So he goes in. That's better, that fits in yeah. nicely now. Right, that's one more your side. Right. That's it. Do we dare? Oh, Char right. right. So that's number one. I'll just give him a little, because that's I a little I'll, bit retarded. I think he's, um, I think you're... Yes. Uh, right. Yes. Flames. <laughs> Bring on the flames. Bring on the flames. Right. Switch that on. More petrol. Just gonna see if it's got any glugger glugger. She's she's mm, a glugger. Try it. That was not right there. I think we're running 
So we're either too far in advance or too far retarded. I think we're too far retarded. Back. Yeah. We're running. Try that. See if flames shoot out. Okay. That sounds more, more promising. It does. Should we so give it a little bit more? I think we give it a little bit more. Let's go bang on now. For a long time, should we go a little bit more. I think we go a little bit more. <laughs> Try that. <laughs> She's a run. Oh, we might have gone a bit too much there. Let's give it a go. Yeah. Yeah. We're too far now. So we need to come. Try that. Now it's blowing flames again. So, advance, retard, little tiny bit bad. Oh, go on, try again. We'll get it all confused. This advance retard thing confuses me. Yeah, it's confused me now. Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm completely confused. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think we need to go back over here somewhere, don't we? Let's go right over it. Let's just do that. Try that. Okay. Nothing like a bit of hit and miss. We're going to go and be all posh now and go and look at. Yeah, yeah, we're going to need to need. <laughs> we're going to need to get. We've also got oil pressure as well. Did you want to look at oil pressure get done with that? I was too busy trying to look at the flames. Gone, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yes. Well, it hasn't died, so we must have some description of oil pressure. I think we clean all the plugs now. Mm -hmm. We've done none of that. Yeah, she's so glad. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you can see on the top of the radio for the yeah. um, And it hasn't left. Hasn't left the building? No. Well, no, it hasn't dropped a lot of snot on the floor. I think you pull your plugs, I'll pull my one at a time. Yeah. Because I don't think that's on eight. No. Um, and then we'll test all the leads, make sure she's flashing. And then I think I might even have a timing gun down the bottom of the box down there. Uh, we never use the things. We'll have completely confused ourselves with retarded and advancing. Yeah. It's Saturday. My brain's not working. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Right, so some new sparky plugs. Hit it, Fudge. Okay. See what happens. Here we go. Might have eight cylinders now. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, no flames, eight cylinders. Right, here we go. Or a flat battery. Or a flat battery. Oh, oh. too far advanced. Right. Back him round to where he was. Four. Back there. Let's yeah. try that. Try that. Right, so we have got it to a point where it starts and runs. Now we are slightly out of spark plugs. We def desperately need a new set of plugs, don't we? We do. We've got we two do. Volkswagen Beetle ones, two we stole out of a 350 Chevy, four we sold out of a 350 Chevy up the road the other day, and two of the original Bosch ones, which poop. The <laughs> timing is out, but we didn't have any gears in the beginning, did we? But no. we have filled the gearbox up with oil now and got a level on it now that it runs and you can check the level yeah and it will appear that we're going to try moving it so we park it over there and then we don't have to have it here yes we haven't got to push it out no well it is pretty heavy it well is. the power steering hopefully functions the gearbox <laughs> seems to work and we apparently have brakes Ooh. Oh. 
But it is a bit like a flame-throwing device, isn't it? It is. Due to the lack of functioning spark plugs, or properly functioning spark plugs. So I think what we do, we'll move the camera back, uh -huh. and we're going to do a driving it out video, because I am not going down the road in that. No. No. Not without any exhaust on it, any description of registration. It's not no, worth it. No, we're just going to die, aren't we? Let's we move it. Die. Let's move it. Brum! Brum! Let's try to do some brumming. Brum, brum. Brum, brum. <laughs> Oh, Have you good. shut all the doors, Fudgy? Wow. Right. Bring the this noise. Door, this door won't shut very well. No. Bring the noise. Something. Thunders. Thunders. Bring the thunder. Too loud. Too loud. Well, wow. Moves. It moves. It stops. It's a bit noisy. Right. So, can two blokes from Dorset? You're from Wiltshire. I'm, Wilt you're I'm you're Wiltshire. a Wiltshire-born. I'm a Dorset-born. Yeah. Who you know nothing about? Well, you know more about large American V8s than I do. Yeah, but I've I've forgotten. It's been a, a few. Been a few it's years. Been a few it was, years. but it does work. She does work. So I'm, it runs. Mm -hmm. to a degree i think if we get it some posh new spark plugs that actually spark yeah maybe service on it a bit for them it'll run quite nicely we may need to consider an exhaust system yeah it's, it's ridiculously yeah. loud isn't it? it yeah i don't know about you but i can't hear properly anymore no my no. i'm actually my ears are ringing my, I, luckily enough i'm partly deaf due to my last <laughs> week's covid which is why we weren't here last week because mm -hmm. we all got covid Died. You died more because you're died. a conspiracy theorist and not had any of them no, vaccinations. I'm no, I'm pure blood. Pure blood. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Al, Fudge, 60 diesel, GMC, Bay Team, Van 350, Ventura, something. Can you make it run and drive? Yes, you, yes can. you can. Shall we just for a laugh fire her up for one last time one so, last the, pe so the people can appreciate the noise while we're yes. stood out here and not sat in there? Yes. See if she will crack off. See you? if she'll crack. All right. Don't you go busting that bald lives matters. No, bald no, lives matters. Mug, that. Right. Let's get this beastie fired up again. <coughs> right, we're in park. Yep, we're in park. Hit it. Hit it. <laughs> Oh, 
Right, guys, thank you very much. 60 diesels. Let's go and have a workshop clear up. We're going to need a workshop clear up. There's lots of petrol everywhere, isn't there? <laughs>